If you want to see how I created these oils with dried flowers, I ain't done, I ain't done with these dry flowers in there, then what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to stay tuned. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Winnie, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing to your girl's channel. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. Tuesday and Thursdays are the days that I committed to you guys. Anything outside of that is a bonus video. So, hey, one since day one, however long you've been here, I show sure appreciate you, know what I'm saying? I'm talking about all right, man, it's all love. So I want to do this portion with you guys seeing my face so that way you don't get bored because um, I want to detail to you guys why I chose the oils that I chose for uh, when I make my hair oil. Like I said before, I've been making my own hair oil since, so about four years now, since about 2016. And I did some research so that way you guys can know exactly why I chose the oils that I chose. And so that way, if you, you know, ever want to purchase any oils from me, you know that, oh, okay, well, she ain't playing. She did some research. So we're going to start right here with avocado oil. Don't look, you know, it's been through some things, okay? Avocado oil and all of the Napa Valley Naturals oils are expeller pressed, Okay. So the benefits of avocado hair oil, avocado hair oil is extracted from the pulps of avocado fruit. And it has, its natural composition uh, mainly includes monosaturated oleic fatty acid along with some saturated fatty acids. The fatty acids nourish the hair fibers by penetrating the hair cuticles. So that's very important when you want to grow your hair, you want something that's going to, you know, get down deep down in there, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna tell you why. So the mono, monosaturated hair fibers retain moisture in the hair cuticles that prevents hair problems and hair grows faster. You want to grow your hair? This is how you do it. Avocado oil also has omega-3 fatty acids that protect hair from the UV rays. So if you remember from my very first um, Stonewall Kitchen haul, I was talking about how the oils have fatty acids in them. And so I'm just going into detail what fatty acids are and they're naturally occurring in most of these oils that I have, okay? Avocado hair oil is rich, is a rich source of natural vitamin E. You know, you want some vitamin E because vitamin E, you know, it helps the hair as well. <clears throat> and hair, vitamin E makes the hair healthy and prevents split ends, okay? So then, Avocado air can un avocado air motorcycles. Avocado air ho air hair oil <laughs> unclog the black hair follicles and stimulate faster growth. Avocado hair oil revives the dry, frizzy, and damaged hair, and the scalp can is absorb avocado oil easily. That's what you want when you want to grow your hair. Next up, we have grapeseed oil as we know the grapeseed oil that i purchased was broken but praise the lord i had some extra won't he do it he showed said he would grapeseed oil is produced from the extracts of grapefruit seeds grapeseed hair oil hair growth oil is rich is a rich moisturizer and conditioner for dry hair the hair oil can retain moisture to the hair and prevent hair issues like frizzing split ends and brittleness these in turn contribute to growing hair faster. This is what, this, everything I'm saying is what we want. Linoleic acid can alleviate dryness of the scalp and make the scalp healthy. Grapeseed hair oil does not make the hair feel greasy. Therefore, you can use this hair, this hair oil regularly to get shiny and healthy hair. And so basically, whenever I do, um, whatever I oil my scalp, I do it every two to three days or once every other day. Grapeseed oil prevents the hair loss by lowering the level of cortisol hormone that is released when a person undergoes stress. Therefore, the hair oil serves as a natural cure for depression causing hair loss. Okay, so if you, you know, suffer from depression, I'm not a medical professional. I'm just saying this is what I use, okay? And so my hair grows pretty, pretty quickly, okay? Um, eventually I'm going to be using jojoba oil, but I do not have jojoba, jojoba oil right here. So we're going to go ahead and move right along. The benefits of 
oops, sweet almond, sweet almond oil. Benefits of sweet almond oil. Can you see it? Okay, so the benefits of sweet almond oil, the almond oil is produced from one kind of droop called almond. Sweet almond hair oil is a, has a great reputation for reputation <laughs> for reviving the dull hair. Sweet almond oil is a great natural source of proteins and hair vitamins like vitamin A, B, D, and E. All of these vitamins are in hair oil. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't have a healthy diet, put some of this on your hair and then okay, 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 okay. The combination of these elements in its hair growth oil revives the dull hair and dry hair and turn them into the lustrous and healthy hair. Besides the hair vitamins, the almond oil includes some essential nutrients like magnesium, zinc, potassium, as well as healthy fats. Okay. Sweet, uh, the elements, uh, it makes the hair healthy and ensures faster hair growth. Sweet almond oil serves as a sealant layer for the for you guys that seal your ends. It serves as a sealant layer as it bears moisture sealing property naturally. Adequate moisture can revive the hair and reduce split ends and excessive hair breakage. Moreover, the moisturized scalp can fight against dandruff. Okay, the benefits of castor oil, and you know I like that extra dark. Got extra dark. Okay, uh, so castor oil naturally possesses a laxative effect that prevents the growth of microorganisms and dandruff in the scalp and keeps the scalp infection-free and healthy. It also prevents scalp dryness and split ends. Regular uses of castor oil can make the hair moisturized, shiny, and darker. And um, I forgot who it was. I think it was Baby Grace. I'm not sure, but somebody put... Uh, put my oil on their hair and their hair was it was darker and i forgot to tell her parents that it may make her hair appear darker <laughs> but it's all love so now we move on to safflower oil okay so sapphire oil keeps the hair healthy um safflower oil hair grow safflower hair oil okay safflower hair growth oil is one of the best and cost effective solutions to moisturize your hair. This hair oil is naturally enriched with linoleic acid and oleic acid, and you can apply it directly to your hair um, as an organic moisturizer. So when they say organic, you know, that means that it's natural. So now we're gonna move on to sunflower oil, which is the one I wanted previously. So the bit of, oh, y'all, it's already starting. That's why I have a towel right here. And you'll see why in a minute. So, um, sunflower oil for hair. Sunflower oil is derived from the seeds of sunflower plants. So, back in the day when they came out with that sunflower perfume, that was my favorite perfume because I loved it, okay? And so, <laughs> sunflower oil bears a great combination of hair vitamins like vitamin A, B, C, and E. And minerals like iron, calcium, potassium, etc. High concentrations of fatty acids. Um, so it nourishes the hair and it stimulates faster hair growth. Um, moreover, the hair growth oil is highly soluble due to its lightweight nature. Therefore, massaging the hair on the scalp can easily hydrate the hair strands, penetrate through the scalp tissues and nourish the hair from inside. And y'all wonder why I say I wanted daggone sunflower oil. This is exactly why, okay? All right, sunflower oil serves as a natural emollient that thickens, lubricates, and softens the hair. Moreover, the emollient property of this hair oil prevents water loss from the hair. So I know that, uh, you know, it's hot in California, it's hot in Texas, basically it's hot everywhere. But um, when I have this, when I have my oil on my hair, I don't experience you know, my hair is not dry because, you know, the sun dried it out. You know what I'm saying? And sunflower oil is a good natural hair conditioner. Its deep conditioning property makes the hair smoother, stronger, lustrous, and healthier. This hair oil can condition the greasy hair too. So, you know, if you have a naturally greasy scalp, it can, you know, penetrate your hair, uh, your hair shaft and do what it needs to do. And so lastly, we have lavender the 15 grams of lavender so benefits of lavender hair for oil lavender oil is derived from the flowers of the lavender herb 
okay? And so it can treat alopecia. Um, and so that's a condition that leads to excessive hair fallout or patches of baldness. Um, it's often recommended by hair experts to prevent these diseases, especially male baldness. Regular scalp massage using lavender oil can ensure hair regrowth within a short period. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, no. Hair loss is often caused by a psychological states such as, because y'all know, you know, she's in grad school, <laughs> like anxiety, depression, and stress. Lavender oil can cure insomnia by assisting in sound sleep through its sedative, sedative and relaxing properties. Okay. Mm, so that's what we have on that. Okay. So these are the reasons why I chose the oil. Now, um, a different... The different things that I, oh, my bad. And we're also going to be using black seed oil. Um, it's another carrier oil. And so the difference in the oils that I have now is now I have, I'm using lavender, I'm using sweet almond oil and black seed oil. Um, black seed oil basically is, is, is cold press as well. It's just like his brothers and sisters over here. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm um, not trying to push my oils on you guys, but can't okay, say it no the research don't lie okay you do your own research and then you get back to me and you let me know so right now what we're going to do is we're going to jump right on into me making these hair oils um yeah because my girl Chamel is putting my stuff put my business out there so uh, I gotta make some oils because some people want some oils so and I'm also going to be making one for my daughter and me and so go ahead and stay tuned all right, y'all. So I am back. I have my, I got my scale. <laughs> I got my scale. I got my scale. I got my scale, honey. And so essentially what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be making three different oils. So I'm going to be using lavender in one, lavender, peony, uh, Sephora, flower, rosebud um my girl jasmine I'll be using my girl jasmine and then i'm going to be using calendula and so you guys are probably like why why for why 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 are you doing all that why are you using all that uh the reason why is because it's no really rhyme or reason in particular um when i purchased these um i wanted to although my hair oil does not stink by any means what i wanted to do was i wanted to you know let whoever is purchasing some oils let them know that you know it was made with um you know an additional 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 stuff so essentially what i'm trying to say is is that these oils are made with love not many people are using actual you know flowers in their hair oil and if they do they're only using you know like one one type of flower though i have not seen that okay so what i'm doing is i'm just and i'm not adding too much you know just enough to perfume the oil mm -mm. just enough to perfume the oils at this time And so these hair oils, hair oils, she is tripping. These hair, these hair, these flowers, I got hair on the brain, y'all. These flowers have been purchased from who? Amazon. Amazon.com, Amazon. Okay. All right. So that's that on that. So we have one, are you looking? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven oils and we have eight ounces of um this is an eight out eight ounce bottle okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start out with half an ounce of each oil and when I, and the reason why i'm going to do half an ounce is because i want to see you know
because I want to see, okay? Eh, that's why I got my towel here. So basically, if you have made it to this portion of the video, I'm going to explain in detail the reason why I'm doing three different um, hair, I mean, three different bottles with two to three different flowers per bottle. And so the reason why is because that black seed oil stank, okay? It does not smell good at all. And... Like I said, I've been using these oils for years, so I know that the common denominator, well, the difference that I'm adding is the black seed oil, so it stinks really, really bad. Um, I didn't know that at first when I first started doing it, so um, initially I was just, you know, adding the flowers for, you know, decoration, and so people could be like, oh, what is this? But also the flowers that I added, they also have their own properties as well. And so what I'm trying to do um, right here, and the reason why <laughs> on this bottle is so different, I tried to go in and I tried to do um, one, ounces, uh, one ounce of each oil. And so that should have been enough, you know, because it's only eight ounces in there. 
But somehow, some way, I, I got the math wrong or whatever. And so when I go to the bigger bottle, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to do, you know, trying to figure out the math. But um, what I do know is that um, I figured out how to do it and I figured out how to do it properly. And so just wanted to give you guys some education on um, the different oils and, you know, what they're used for. Because for me, like... I don't know if you can tell with my braids, but I need to get, I need to rebraid my hair, but I don't, I don't want to because I just know that, you know, within a couple of weeks, it's going to look the same way. And I, I contribute that to, um, these oils. And so, you know, just, you know, watch along, watch along with me as I, um, well, not watch along with me, but watch as I do my best to figure out the perfect combination of these oils so i basically like i said before i figured it out um and i added lavender to each and every bottle and the reason why i added lavender to each and every bottle is because like i said that black oil that black sea oil stank um and so i'm going to allow it um, i'm just going to keep the um the flowers in the bottle when people get their oil what they can do is um more than likely they'll transfer it to a different bottle and so you know they can just strain it on their own or they can keep it as is um i'm gonna keep mine as is and i'm just gonna work it work with it like that and so i really hope that you guys appreciate the uh time and effort that went into this video because yeah, your girl put some work in for this video. This one just to, you know, get up and do. This was get up, do, research, blah, 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 blah. So this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm me, she, her, and Wendy. New videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesdays, depending on what's going on. And with that, you know what that means, that your girl is what? That your girl is L.
Okay, so I did say that I was out and I was, but then I remembered that I had to put my labels on. So I wanted to show you guys how I package my oils from start to finish. And so I have these handwritten labels and I like the uh, personal personalization effect of the handwritten label because like, not a lot of uh, companies are doing that. So I try to find the seam of the um, bottle and I put it on the seam. Normally, I wipe it down with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol, but I totally forgot because I was trying to get this out. Um, so, basically, you know, this is how I do it. Uh, this is how I roll, and, um, you know, I'm not playing no games with my business. So, you know, if you would like some oils, um, the link is in the description box, and you can purchase all the oils that you want. And so, now, your girl is out.